All right, so we're going to record it horizontally instead of vertically because the recordings come out looking kind of weird and I got to like change it sometimes. I just want to see if this is better for me. Back to bright. Look, look, Becky wants to be played with, bro. Look at her. She wants it. She, she's longing for it. We'll get to her soon. Ski brat. Description. Just arrived. You, you just opened the Snowbird Mountain ski shop for the day. Get the VIP pass from Connor, the lodge rich boy who runs the hip club sanctuary. Brett, dude, check it out. Becky Sky, the girl of your dreams, just walked through the door. Hey, Brett. <laughs> I can't talk right now, but me and a couple of friends are going to Sanctuary on Friday, and I wanted to see if you were in. I'll be there. I don't think I can make it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I might be busy. That's right, you gotta make the girls know that you're not just something that they can get whenever. Yeah, I'm not sure. I might be busy. Shut up. You better be there. She's not even... Becky, Becky's an alpha. She's not even hearing that shit. I don't think I'll make it. I'll be there. Great. I'll see you later. Bye. Call me. You have received the cell phone, Becky. You, how am I getting these numbers from people I've known? Like, all my close friends are now just giving me their numbers. That's kind of weird. Also, what's kind of weird is currently on Twitter, um, there is a girl and her girlfriend uh, on Twitter looking for some dude named Austin in Mount Vernon because he was flirting with, with, his, with her girlfriend. And they went over to, on Twitter and they're like saying that if you know somebody named Austin in Mount Vernon that works in Chipotle, um, tell his girlfriend to message me or whatever like that because he won't stop flirting with my girlfriend. We already told him to stop. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, bro, can you, first off, right? Do, okay, let me let me clear, clarify that again for you guys. There is a gay girl who was mad that a guy was talking to her girlfriend who works at Chipotle named Austin in Mount Vernon. So she went to Twitter for justice. Now, I why not? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't like the way that that sits with me. Like, because what happens if this dude's name is not even Austin on his Twitter? What happens if he doesn't use a Twitter? You know? Why would you even go to Twitter to be, like, why would you even, you know? It, and, and on top of that, right? I guarantee there's, like, at least probably seven Austins out there. Seven, eight Austins in Mount Vernon that work at Chipotle, right? I mean, it, it's ridiculous. What would you get? What do you guys think about that situation? <laughs> you ever see the cell phone? Becky's. Becky leaves. Way to be cool, dude. Don't forget, though, you need a VIP pass to get into Sanctuary. I don't need a VIP pass. Uh, yeah. Actually, you do. How do I get one? Pretty tough to come by. The word is, if you get in good with the Connor, the guy who owns the runs the club, a guy with perfectly sculpted hair sporting a few thousand dollars worth of sneaker enters the shop. Here's Connor. I better go before he farts on me again. Later. What? Danny leaves. Looks like you got some sick new boards in. Aye aye, Captain Observation. The display racks didn't really don't really do them justice. Sure did. The display racks don't really do them justice. Nice to be met by you. I'm sure we you've heard of me. Connor tosses a 50 bill on the counter. No the money. Tough guy, huh? Here's another 20. Leave it for now. Don't be embarrassed to pocket it after I leave. What do you want? Can I help you? Hell no. Unless you're the owner's son, I'm gonna ask you to leave, please. Sorry, I get a little jittery before I have my coffee. What can I get for you? What do you want? I like your attitude, straight to the point. I'm Connor. My dad owns this ski dump. What did you say your name was, then? I didn't, but my name is Brett. 
You hang around that hottie Becky a lot, don't you, chat? Why do you want to know who? Line. Yeah, we do a little more to hang out from time to time, know what I mean? Who? Come on. I see you with her all the time. What a fucking creep, bro. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> really? Do I not have a choice here? I don't know what you're talking about. Really? <laughs> this is the game we play it, son? You stay away from her. Here's the deal, chat. I'm announcing a fantasy dating contest where some dude will get to choose from three hot babes he'll take on a Caribbean cruise. All courtesy of Snowbird Mountain Lodge. And all you need... And you need a VIP pass to witness the kickoff. Sounds original. Sounds great. Sounds awful. Sounds original. Right. Anyway, I want to get your friend Becky in on the contest. And the club has to look good. That's where you come in with the favor. Get out of here before I impale you with the ski pole. <laughs> sure, what do you need? How much does this favor mean to you? How much do you want for a VIP pass? How much does this favor mean to you? What are you gonna do now? Extort me? You betcha. Just kidding, what you need? You betcha. You're impossible. I'm telling my dad on you. Connor leaves. It looks like you pushed your luck a little too far. Connor gets you far from the ski shop. You end up paying for bad folk. Wait, what? You end up playing bad folk music at a retirement home in upstate Idaho for the rest of the winter and picking potatoes for 25 cents an hour? What? Man, retirement home in upstate Idaho for the rest of the winter and picking potatoes for 25 cents an hour. Man, that sucks. You never see Becky again. Way to go. What the fuck? Yeah, so this game gets a little dramatic. Let's uh, go through all of this. Looks like you got some sick new boards in. Aye, aye, Captain Observation. <laughs> Funny guy, I like that. Get your teeth straight, you know me. Bana tosses a 20 bill on the counter. Take the money. You'll receive the money, 20 bucks. Good boy. So I don't need to introduce myself since you've probably heard of me. I'm Connor. No, should I have? My dad owns a lodge. Don't be nervous though, I'm a normal guy just like you, only a lot richer. How are these new boards on powder? Try one on, see for yourself. Any chance of you coming down on this price? You can afford it. I resent that. I'm, wait I'm waiting tables right now to pay off my student loans. Get the fuck out of here. Where did you go to school? You're perfectly gullible, huh, Chomp? Which board do you recommend? I recommend the Mystic Powder. I recommend the Double Black Diamond Ultra Custom X, X, ZX5. What the fuck? This purple one here looks nice. I recommend the Mystic Powder. Yeah, that's a good board, but I'm not much into freestyle. How about that crucible board on the top rack? The one that's really difficult to reach? You don't want that one. Try this purple one here. Get it yourself. Get it yourself. I like your style. You're blunt and not a pushover. What did you say your name was? I didn't, but my name is Brett. Brett, that nigga ain't coming to sucks, huh? What else can I call you? My name is Brett, but you can call me Daddy. Ha <laughs> ha, you crazy, man. Listen, I, I I can't do his voice properly. I'm exhausted. Like, I, I got this sophisticated dickhead voice for him. Man, listen. I hope you don't think that I'm just another one of them attractive, rich, and powerful jerks. I'm not gonna say what? <laughs> Give him the dot, dot, dot. Hello? Huh? Oh, sorry. I just thought of something funny. Oh, no. I would never think that. People can be very cruel sometimes, can they? Huh? Oh, sorry. I just thought something funny. Got a real attitude problem, don't you know that? I can meet you sometimes later and we can settle. Thanks! <laughs> I'm sorry, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's start over. 
Looks like you got some sick new boards in. The display racks don't really do them justice. Had to be met by you. I'm sure you heard of me. Found a toast of 50 bill on the counter. Good boy, so I don't need to introduce myself since you probably heard of me. I'm Connor. Yeah, bro, are we, are we extorting this man for all his money? Of course. Yeah, of course. Can I help you with something? Hmm. What's the word on these new boards? Actually, I don't know much about this stuff. <laughs> Good thing. They got you working at the ski shop. Let me see that crucible board on the top rack. The one that's really difficult to reach? Yeah, that one. Joking, right? No. All right, here you go. Never mind. I'm just browsing anyway. What did you say your name was? Brett. Brett. That name kind of sucks, huh? What else can I call you? Brett. You got a real attitude problem. You know that? I can meet you somewhere later. We can settle things. Connor leaves! <laughs> you don't even make it to Century as Connor gets you fired before the afternoon is out and boots you off the lodge property. You move back into your mother's basement and spend the next three years watching old Eddie Murphy movies. Needless to say, you never see Becky again. God damn, bro! Eddie Murphy movies? Okay. Let's do this. We're doing this. Alright. Uh. Close to 50, take the money. Um, mm -hmm, large son, ah. Uh, ah, uh, that's cool. Closely dilly on the new boards. Actually, I don't know much about this stuff. Good thing they got you working in a ski shop. All right, here you go. Never mind, I'm just browsing here. What did you say your name was? I didn't, but my name is Brett. Brett, that name kind of sucks. Brett, if you excuse me, I got some skis to polish. Ha ha ha, skis to polish. Wait, was that a joke? Dude, look. I hope you don't think I'm a jerk, all right? I'm just your average run-of-the-mill attractive rich guy, okay. People can be cruel sometimes, can't they? I have you fired if you don't watch your attitude, Jack. Sorry, I got a medical condition. Sometimes I just blurt things out. Jerk, see? Right. Anyway, I want to get your friend Becky in on the contest, and the club has to look good. That's where you come in with a favor. Sure, what do you need? First thing is first. I need to borrow a bunch of these snowboards. Bring them back, right? Of course, I always respect the property of Snowbird Mountain Lodge. How much does this favor mean to you? What, you're gonna ex do extort me? Just kidding, what do you need? Good boy, I'm just gonna take these off the rack here in exchange for your help. Here's the VIP pass for Sanctuary. You ever received the VIP Sanctuary Club Pass? I'm gonna go get that Becky chick to enter the contest and you get to witness all the Esther, ja what? Estrogenial festivities? Thanks. Thanks, Les. You're welcome, Gary. It's Connor. Whatever. Connor leaves. The manager is livid that you let the lodge rat walk off with $9,000 in brand new equipment. He fires you immediately. That's all right, though. You got the VIP pass, so you can meet Becky. That's what's truly important. Wait, did Connor say something about Becky in the stupid contest? Hmm, it smells like a challenge. Do you accept your mission? Yeah, it doesn't... It doesn't look, this game does not look right in like horizontal, right? It needs to be in vertical. Uh, oh, by the way, Noah, you just gave, just give me a call if you need something. You and I might be good friends. You ever see the cell phone Connors? Leave a message with my assistant if I'm not around. Here's some literature too, tough guy. You ever see the unlocking social anxiety? People like to see a stable mouth full of pearly whites. Just in case you find yourself choking on your words. You have received the Heimlich Maneuver pamphlet. Got a little something in case your bile is too blinded for you to look at. Yo, why does it give me so much shit? You have received the sunglasses. Move on. Give me a bunch of stuff, goddamn.